Yo, 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 what it do, what it do, it's your boy Nick, I'm coming back at it again with another video, man, and in today's video, what I got for you guys are the best Warzone controller settings to run on PlayStation, Xbox, and on PC, it works on every single platform, and these settings are a must run here in Season 2, like, you will have better movement and better gun control, and, like, who wouldn't want to win more gunfights with these settings man so i'm going to be showing you guys the best controller settings here and before we get onto those settings man if we could shoot for five likes that would be absolutely great man if we hit the like goal i will drop the top five class setups in warzone man but without further ado let's get on to the controller settings all right guys so the button layout that you guys want to run here in warzone is bumper jumper tactile flip now the reason why i say this is because you want to maintain you know control of your gun whenever you're jumping you want to maintain con like control of literally your controller whenever you're jumping and you know if you play on tactical you have to jump from you, you know you have to use the x button to jump the x button to jump and you guys can see like whenever you're in the middle of a gunfight you always hold your controller like this like this so you have to jump but with the bumper jumper tactical flip you can jump with the l2 button or the left trigger on xbox and it definitely definitely like it makes a huge huge difference simply because you maintain control of your weapon man so you jump with l2 and you see that your thumb never leaves the right stick the right analog stick so I would definitely recommend bumper jumper for you guys, man. It, you know, it is an essential part of Warzone now. You know, you have to jump shot almost every single gunfight, which is absolutely crazy, man. So bumper jumper is definitely the way to go for Warzone. Stick layout preset, I leave it on default simply because, you know, I don't really mess around with that stuff. Same with the invert vertical look, I leave it on disabled. Now for Dead Zone, I moved from a PS4 stock controller to a PS5 stock controller and I found that .10 was the best for me. It didn't really make a huge difference if I left it at zero, but you know, if you if you go max, you will definitely notice it, but you know, whenever you're like in the middle of a gunfight or trying to move around, .10 it doesn't really make a huge huge difference, but for me Point 10 was definitely definitely the right you know setting for the dead zone so moving on to the horizontal and vertical stick sensitivity i like leaving it low so 6.6 six is definitely perfect for me because whenever you the lower your sensitivity is the more accurate you're going to be in gunfights and the more you're going to win them so if you're for example at a 20 20 which is insane in warzone you know you're not gonna have control of your gun unless you have like years and years of practice of you know just playing on 2020 but for me 6.6 six is definitely the way to go like i said the lower your uh you know your sensitivity is the more accurate you are you are and you know with 6.6 six, it gives me space to you know turn on people if they're shooting on me and, and they have bad aim so 6.6 six is definitely the way to go for warzone the ads sensitivity for low zoom i keep it at one and for uh, high zoom i keep it at 1.05 now for the aim response curve time i keep it on dynamic so standard you know the aim assist will kind of stick linear it will pretty much uh you know when whenever you're like aiming at someone it'll be directly you know on that person you know you don't really have like a certain drag to your aim and linear uh dynamic is pretty much the reverse so it'll like stick to the left side of your uh opponent so you know dynamic is definitely definitely the move man you know i've seen a lot of streamers and pros you know switch to dynamic ever since the uh cold war integration happened so dynamic is definitely the move man so controller vibration i keep it on disabled simply because I, I i'm not really a big fan of it and plus it messes around with your aim you know whenever you're shooting you just have the controller just vibrate in your hand so like i said low sensitivity and controller vibration are disabled to be more accurate and win more gunfights man all right guys so moving on to the aim assist i have it on standard and the difference between standard and focusing you know precision is 
no one really uses that but the difference between standard and focusing is that you know when you're whenever you're focusing it sticks onto someone like it's glue and you'll have like a hard time you know trying to move your stick you know so that way you can have control of your weapon so definitely leave it on standard because you will have you know the time and space to you know move your stick and have control of your aim so definitely standard is the way to go weapon mount activation i have it on ads and melee because simply because i had a bad experience with the aim down sight you know the activation where if i'm close to a wall and i press the aim down sight button it'll automatically mount but if i have it on uh the aim down sight button and melee all i have to do is press two buttons which is definitely definitely the move you do not want to accidentally mount whenever you're in the middle of a gunfight so it's just more control of your gunfights and ads and melee is definitely a move you know weapon mount movement exit i have it on enabled if you have it on disabled you have to press ads and melee again and you do not want that especially if you know an enemy is moving in a different direction you always want to move with them so enabling it you know you all you have to do is move the left stick to get out of the mount animation moving on to the ads sight behavior i have it on default which is hold equipment behavior i have it on hold as well which is the default now the use and reload behavior i have it on tab to reload but you are more than welcome to have it on contextual tab and this is definitely the move for warzone i never really got used to it i always had i always have it on tab to reload i tried contextual tab but it's not really you know a vibe for me but contextual tab you know helps you loot a lot a lot quicker like it takes me you know a certain amount of seconds to loot whenever i have it on tap to reload but contextual tab you will loot you know you will loot people in 0.5 seconds it is extremely extremely quick man so moving on to depleted ammo switch we have it on enabled which is the default whenever you're running out of bullets and you're completely out of one weapon it will automatically switch to the secondary so if i run out of bullets with the kilo and i have zero out of zero it'll automatically switch it to an mp5 which is absolutely fantastic man you do not want to mess around with the setting whatsoever and moving on to the armor plate behavior i have it on apply all and pretty much you have to press the triangle button which is you know putting on armor plates you only have to press it once and this is extremely extremely helpful because you do not have to you know hold the uh the triangle button throughout throughout the duration of the animation so armor play behavior apply all is definitely the move man so and finally the movement man so for slide i have it on tap and this helps out a bunch man whenever you're trying to slide cancel tap is definitely the move man because all you have to do is tap it once and you're automatically sliding so slide behavior leave it on tap it is extremely extremely helpful with the movement of course auto move forward i have it on disabled automatic sprint i have it on tactical sprint where like i don't have to put a lot of pressure on the left stick you could just have like a little bit of pressure and no automatically tactical sprint so that's why you see like you know people like swag and joe and repos you know their movements are cracked out and they have it on uh slide behavior on tap and automatic sprint on automatic tactical sprint which is definitely definitely the move in terms of the movement uh vehicle camera recenter enabled i have it on default parachute auto deploy enabled you know if you have it on disabled <laughs> sometimes i automatically like i mistakenly you know forgot to press the l2 button which is to open the parachute so leave it on enabled you know you will have control the automatic the game will automatically deploy the parachute which is fantastic so yeah these are the best controller settings to run here in warzone season 2 like i said leave a like if you guys want to see the top five class setups in warzone but if you guys are new to the channel be sure to hit the subscribe button man you guys are not going to miss out on brand new content brand new class setups tips and tricks in warzone almost every single day and yeah man so it's been your boy enigma and i'm out peace